Carefully digging around the hole, he loosens the snake's grip on the earth. Until finally, the king comes free. Now the local snake handler, perched precariously on the top of the cliff, finds himself face to face with an angry king. But with a firm grip on the tail, Gowrie drags the 12-foot serpent from the cliff. This snake is broader and lighter in color than the female they rescued earlier. It must be a male. As the audience gathers, Ram and Gowry try to lure the serpent into the bag. And after some coaxing, the king obliges. Toughest catch I've ever seen in my life, actually. Insane, actually. Now the tagging can begin. With both a male and female king cobra, they'll be able to compare the behavior of the sexes, something that's a complete mystery right now. It's time to call in the expert. Matt Good is a herpetologist from the University of Arizona and a leading authority on tracking snakes. Well, it's difficult because the animals that we study are very secretive. You really have to be creative. There's just as much art in it as there is science. And you sort of got to think like a snake, I guess. Matt has implanted radio transmitters in hundreds of venomous snakes, but never a king. Radio telemetry has really just revolutionized the study of snakes. Before, you know, you could release a snake and probably never see it again. Now we can track it and we can find out what it's doing on a minute by minute basis if we want. The real motivation of what's it like to be a snake? Yeah, Doc, go ahead and load up some anesthesia. Okay, then. At the station, the team preps the female for the unique operation taking every precaution to ensure her safety. Now let's get some tape. They must estimate how much anesthetic to use. Too much, and she might not wake from her drug-induced sleep. Needle drivers. Thank you. Make sure it's not down. Matt makes an incision. and carefully inserts the radio transmitter between the vital organs. This small tracking device will emit a signal that a specialized receiver can pick up from over 900 feet away. Then Matt inserts two small buttons. These will take temperature readings every hour for the next two years. Some final stitching and the operation is complete. All that is left is to wake her up. But she does not respond. So Matt inserts a straw into her trachea and gives the king mouth to mouth, trying to flush the anesthetic from her lungs. But she still won't wake up. Now, 30. Because kings are an endangered species, the forest department keeps careful watch. Finally, the king takes a breath for herself. Thanks, Doc. That was fantastic. Thanks, everybody. The surgery is a success. Tomorrow, it's the male's turn.